Question 17. Eureka, an online virtual escape room experience, has recently deployed Veeam backup and replication. Corporate policy dictates that on-premises backups must be mirrored to public cloud storage. The backup administrator has configured a backup job utilizing the forever forward incremental backup mode with 14 restore points retention. The backup job is targeting a scalar backup repository extended with a capacity tier on the AWS S3 public cloud that has been configured with an operational restore window of seven days. An auditor is unable to locate any backups mirrored to public cloud storage. How can we resolve this? Okay, so there was quite a few pieces of information here, but uh, maybe we'll walk through the answer options down here first. Reconfigure the backup job to leverage the reverse incremental backup mode, maybe. Modify the AWS IAM policy for the S3 bucket to have proper privileges. Ah, uh, yeah, this could be, but um, I would think that uh, once you add it in the bucket, uh, the permissions should already be okay. So I, I suspect that this is not going to be the issue. This is a known limitation because the backup job has enabled backup of transaction logs for either Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle Archive logs. I don't think there is a limitation like uh, this, but uh, we, we can look into that. Enable the copy backups to object storage as soon as they create a checkbox. Okay, we can go and see, is there such a checkbox? And lastly here, modify the scalar backup repository backup file placement policy from performance to data locality. Whew, okay, so a lot of information here and uh, a lot of information down in the answer options here. So maybe uh, we can start with some of the, um, the easy ones. Uh, when we start ex uh, extending uh, into uh, object storage with the so-called capacity tier, this is nothing that has any relation to the file placement policy, but uh, let's go in and take a look. If we uh, open this up right here, we can start seeing that uh, there's a, a few options here. So notice this is uh, all about the performance tier. Okay, so you can set this up, backup file placement policy, how they are distributed between extents. Now this is only about the distribution on the extents, nothing about the capacity tier. So just looking at this, the last one here will have to be a distractor. Then there's a checkbox up here that we could potentially be looking at. So let's maybe go and, and, and take a, a peek. Uh, the, the real question is, of course, um, what, what does that really look like? Uh, we see this uh, with the capacity tier, you can copy new backup files as soon as these files are created, as described. Okay, let's see here, allows you to copy files and so on, great. Let's maybe go down and see if we can find the, uh, the UI here. It's, it's not uh, displayed right here at least. Uh, maybe we can find it over here in this part of the, uh, no, that's okay. So we'll probably just find the uh, creating a, a scale of repository uh, wizard part of it here. So let's say add, add capacity tier. Okay, so there is a copy backups to object storage as soon as they are created. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, maybe maybe this is really the, uh, the 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 problem here, and and this is why they're they're not getting copied. Um, on the other hand, what about this uh, forever forward up here? Could uh, could this be a, a potential uh, issue? Or what about this uh, operational restore window? So why why would it potentially be interesting to use the reverse incremental? backup mode. Well, the thing is, when we go to this uh, wizard right here, we can see there's a move backups to object storage as they age out of the operational restore window. Okay, so then we can start moving something out and uh, the customer here set this to seven days. Now, the uh, issue here is that once you start going with this setting, if we uh, go back a little bit, we can uh, see, let me see here, we have the uh, moving, yeah. Let's go up to this part right here. So what is it that we can move? Well, it has to be so-called uh, inactive files. 
But uh, what is a uh, inactive file? Well, the problem is when you use forever forward, actually these files never really become inactive. So by moving to reverse incremental, the latest file is going to be a VBK, and then the uh, next uh, files in this chain of 14 would be VRB files. So that would be a, a VBK and 13 VRB files. And Veeam would consider anything older than the last three restore points to be um, inactive. So this could be why they're not getting moved, but um, the requirement here was not to move anything, but to mirror them. So for this reason, this is not really uh, related to what we're trying to do. So in all honesty, the most likely issue is that this checkbox has just not been set up.